how to change the background color of your new template. Really simple, we're going to hover over the template page and we're going to wait until we see this sort of purple outline here. And then it's just a single click with your mouse and then on the left hand side we have this little tile that pops up that says background color. So we click on that and we have lots of options here on the left. So we can choose from another color within the document. We can choose a default color down the bottom. We can do a search for blue, for example, uh, and pick a blue that we like there. Or if we know the hex code for one of our brand colors, we can type that in. So for me, I've got 1F577F, that's a dark blue. That's one of my brand colors there. And once we've found the color we want, we just click on it and that will automatically change that background. Now, what we are seeing down the bottom is this button's popped up that says change all. So we have changed that pale blue in the background to the dark blue. And now we have the option to change every instance instance of that pale blue right throughout the document with a single click. So up to you if you want to use that or not, but let's not do that now and we'll scroll on to the next page because I just want to just help you understand how to edit the background color when there's lots going on on the page. So obviously this page was really simple, but as we move through to the next page here, we've got lots of different elements here. We have a photo, we have text, we have bo uh, boxes. So again, see how when I hover over that little purple uh, outline kind of moves over the element that I'm sitting on. So so we want to select the complete background. So we want that purple border to be around the whole background there. And again, single click. And then we come up to the little tile here and we select our background color. Now the difference with this page here is that there is a lot sitting in front of the background. So even if I was to change the background to a dark blue, it's obviously not going to update every single element. So we have a box here and we have an image there so that you can see that those are sitting on top of the background there. So it's really simple, but have a play around. Make sure that you get your look and feel for your brand and really customize that template.